All right, everybody. James Lambert here. Hope you're all absolutely thriving and living your lives with great passion, positivity and purpose. So here we are. You join me at the dawn, the beginning of a beautiful new day. Well, Monday and the start of a new week. And what I want to talk about in this video is the importance of goal setting and accountability. And in my quest to provide even more value to the group and to those that I serve and have the privilege of working with in my role as a coach and mentor, I wanted to offer this to the group. And this was, if you, for those of you that are happy to do so, share your goals with the group. And I want these to specifically be broken down, at least to start with, weekly goals so at the start of this new week what would you like to share and even if you don't share it with the group what would you like to work towards so that when this Sunday comes you can get looked back on with great enthusiasm and pride in yourself that you've achieved so as I say break it down this doesn't have to be momentous like finishing the book that's always been in you but maybe starting the first chapter, nay, the first paragraph of the book that's always been in you and you've been longing to write. And for those of you that want to start running, you don't have to go straight out and do a marathon. Go round the block. Whatever it is, I urge you to begin it later today. Or at least write down the plan so that tomorrow, if you'd like to start a new exercise regime, you say, right, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. So you book them in. You know, typically what gets planned gets done. And yes, of course, life is busy for all of us. Occasionally things come up and a workout may be missed. Or when you blocked up time to do that writing for your first chapter of the book, life happens. I get that. But no matter, the point still stands. Typically, that which gets planned and booked into our diaries does get done. Certainly, more often than it would otherwise if left to chance. So, I encourage you, particularly if you, you wish to share it with the group and with myself, I think that would be great. And uh, we can keep each other accountable by checking in and seeing how we're doing. And as I say, whether or not you share it with the group, I urge you to looking at setting a goal for yourself so that, again, specifically when Sunday rolls round, you can look back and see how you got on. And in the spirit of transparency and service, that are some of the foundations of my life and work, what I'm really focused very consciously, very deliberately, very mindfully on this week is being even more kind, particularly in my thoughts, words and deeds. And dare I say, if I can't say something kind, I'll say nothing at all. Now, this is something that I've been doing for years now, but if you like, there's always greater levels that one can aspire to. And like, I don't know, peeling an onion, there's more and more layers. Indeed, it's the way I've come to see enlightenment. It's not a one-time hit of awakening. It's a, a gradual throughout one's life, daily, weekly, monthly and yearly, an unfoldment of wisdom. And indeed, you know, often it was said, oh, the lesson repeats itself until the lesson is learned. I actually have come to see it as a, a lot different. It's that the same things, you know, you may have certain addictions. It's not that all of a sudden drinking, gambling, drugs or pornography goes away, but you are met with new resistance and a bid to understand and overstand even further that which tempts you and your habitual ways of responding. We can have a deeper and further understanding of ourselves and of others and of the people, places and circumstances that spark or arouse our passions, be they helpful or otherwise. 
So as I say, back to goal setting. I encourage you to set a goal. It doesn't have to be big, hairy and audacious. It doesn't have to be to get to the top of Mount Everest this time next month. But I urge you to set a goal nevertheless that this Sunday you can look back on with some pride and rightfully so that you have accomplished it. So for me, yes, I was kinder. I was more deliberately thoughtful. And for yourself, you may have banked that first run round the block, started a plank, if even for five seconds, started doing some sit-ups, press-ups, or a combination of all of them, whatever it may be, I urge you to start. Start today. And for those of you that would like to share it with the group, that would be wonderful, absolutely wonderful. But if not, just keep a chart of it or a record of it yourself in your own private journal or bit of A4 paper. And as I say, if you don't want to seek the accountability in the group or working with me as your coach, have self-accountability. Check in with yourself daily at the start of it and nightly before you go to bed. See how you've done. Even check in with yourself during the day. So if you've got a bit off of kilter, you know you've had a bad start to the morning, you think you have been rude and abrupt to somebody, whereas you're trying to be more kind and compassionate towards others, check yourself reset recalibrate and go again don't just give up don't give up don't call it a bad day because you've had a bad hour or two very important stuff anyway i leave it there for now look after yourselves i hope this video has been of value if so please do comment i'll reply to all of them or send me over a message on my facebook public page give it a like if you haven't already and please do check out my youtube channel i'd be delighted to have your company over there where you'll find well north of 500 videos on all kinds of topics that I've shared over the years. And please do subscribe to the channel if you have the time. Thank you in advance for those of you that do that. Have a beautiful day, a great evening, and take care. Bye for now.